Hello everyone, and welcome back to Ice Ice Outpost, where I don't want to sound too dramatic, but my friends, I think we have too many penguins! Oh. My. Gosh. We have almost 100 penguins. We have almost 100 penguins! Well, this is extremely exciting, and I'm sure our guests are having an absolutely great time. This does present a little bit of a problem for some of our future plans, uh, especially the plans that have to do with these penguins at least being gold level. So if we're going to have this many penguins, we're sitting on top of some of the healthiest, happiest, most perfect penguins to release ever, especially since as of this moment, I am still working on trying to accomplish that keeping it snappy challenge uh, so that we can at least get like silver level and maybe have like a, at this point a silver flamingo statue in zoo crafting um so we're still working on trying to make that happen and i think we need to have some time with our penguins today i think today is the day where we're actually going to get in here and we are going to try to sort through our penguins release a whole bunch of the ones <laughs> Oh my gosh, I love them. I love watching them. Release a whole bunch of the ones who just don't have very high like traits. And then we're going to come in and we are going to try to maybe adopt a few new penguins who are gold level, who will be able to add to the health of the colony here. So this is going to be a little alarming, but it's going to be totally normal. Also, I think we need to hire like two more penguin keepers because there are there's so much penguin poop in here. Oh my word. Okay, let's actually hire those keepers first. Look! And look who it is! It's Penguin Translator Mikey! Who's right in here going ahead and giving these speeches about the penguins! This is so exciting! Oh, I love that he's able to do this. This is so cool. But yeah, I think we definitely need to come in. Oh, Mahir, the gray seal has died of old age. Oh my goodness. Rest in peace, Mahir. And Aqua Pebble, the gray seal, is now expecting offspring. Oh my gosh. We do need to sort through the seals as well and make sure that we have a new male come move in and take over the, the group of females because otherwise I don't think we're going to have very healthy seals. All right, so let's go ahead and check the work zone for the shipwreck zone. And we want to make sure that Curry Champion Rowan and Kayaker Philomena are both trained. Mountie Andy needs to be trained. And we need our keepers really trained. Oh my gosh, do we have one keeper? <gasps> Penguin Photographer Tom is the only person who has been working in here. Oh my gosh. Penguin Photographer Tom. <gasps> Eureka the King Penguin's about to die of old age. Oh my goodness. This is a tragedy. Yuriko has been with us for so long, and now he's about to die of old age, or she's about to die of old age. Rest in peace, Yuriko. You are going to be leaving behind not one, not two, but six children. <laughs> Trust me, you've definitely added to the population here. This is rather amazing. All right, but we need to have more keepers in here. That is ridiculous. So let's go ahead and pull up our fantastic list of our wonderful patrons who are members of our Patreon, keeping all of the adventures across all of the Pixel Biology channel going. Welcome in Sarah and Alyssus. Here we go. So we're going to have Penguin, um, Penguin Tracker. Yes, Sarah. And then I'm going to see if we can find where the other keeper just ran off to because I turned my eyes away for like one second and she vanished. All right. And we're going to add her in here. All right. Penguin Tracker Sarah. We're going to get you trained and then we're going to immediately assign you to shipwreck zone so you don't wander too far. And I lost the other keeper. All right. We should be able to find her. Here we go. And then this is going to be... Um, let's have her be penguin... Penguin counter, maybe? Penguin photographer, penguin counter. Penguin census keeper. <laughs> uh, Alyssus, so your job is to actually count penguins and that's actually a really important thing to do. Let's have you come back over to help out in the shipwreck zone. 
and also get you trained up. But that is actually a really important job that sometimes is given to people who are watching over different bird populations because you really want to have an idea of how many birds happen to be in the area. And I hope you guys actually had a chance to participate in the, um, the Christmas bird count this year because every year Audubon actually hosts a Christmas bird count and the reports that they get in of the people who participate in that count influences a lot of really important things like how they decide where to try to put a whole bunch of their funds for being able to protect wild birds. So it's definitely a cool thing to participate in. We have 77 penguins. Oh my goodness. All right. All right. Let's, let's come in here and I think we have a couple unhappy penguins and we'll check in on the maturing flamingos in just a second. All right. Who's unhappy? There's so many penguins. Okay, we're going to come in and we're going to do a little bit of finagling with these guys. So we're going to find all of the king penguins we have. We're going to go ahead and we are going to release some of the adults now who are not super high quality on the, like, the appeal they have. Who escaped and how? Bouncer? I don't even know how you did it, but I'm impressed. He is actually a five-star animal now. Bouncer is an old man. He has he's lived a good long life. All right, come on. We've got we've got things to do. All right, all right. We need to narrow down, filter. I want the king penguin. And we are going to go ahead and we're going to release just a bunch of the penguins who have um like normal level appeal. And we're gonna start trying to pull in and trade some penguins who have gold level appeal. So Sharma, Chloe, Star, Matilda, Liam, Benjamin, Ditsy, Lotso, Harper, Red Pepper, North, Sammy, and Lily, uh, Serena, and Xena. That's a lot of penguins to let go of at once. I'm a little nervous about this, but we have so many. We have 77 penguins, this should be okay. We're gonna go ahead and release all these penguins in a mass group to the wild. One or more of the animals cannot be released to the wild. That's okay. So we're going to release 13 of them to the wild. That didn't even make a dent! You can't even tell! You can't even tell that we just did something that dramatic because there's so many penguins! That's amazing! All right, all right, all right. Let's try again. All right, let's see. King penguin. And again, we're just going to focus on the ones who have like super low appeal. So that's going to be uh, Kate, Hunter, Gotcha, Poppy, Oscar, Brooklyn, and Snowflake. You guys are also, with Kiwi and Ryan, going to go out and you are going to found a whole new penguin colony somewhere out there in the world. Which is really a very noble aspiration we're going after. Poppy cannot be released, that's fine. Because I think she's currently pregnant. And Embrace the Gray Seal is now expecting. Okay, and now in trade, let's see the balance of male to female penguin that we have right now. So we have more males than females at the moment. So we're going to try to get some gold level female penguins. I'm probably going to pay through the nose for that. <laughs> I can just feel it. But let's see, we have, we've been saving up the conservation credits. So let's see if we can get what we're looking for. All right appeal and let's see so there's a gold level penguin here's emma she's also a gold level penguin but the sooner we infuse here's patrick the sooner we manage to get gold level penguins into our facility the sooner we will actually be able to go ahead and have a whole bunch okay archer um Hazel, we'll grab Hazel here. We'll get, we'll get like a couple. We'll start with Hazel. And then let's see. I think I can afford like a couple more penguins. I want to, I always try to be conservative with our conservation credits. And then Archer, we'll go ahead and add you in too, buddy. So we'll start there. I don't want to go above 5,000 for new new penguins just yet but we're going to just start there and see if we can make progress also with this brand new arrival of a new female in here let's go ahead and this is actually going to be let's see garcia's 
And I love the idea of adding in even more beautiful waterfalls. Oh, you have such great ideas for how to make the the otter exhibit so beautiful. Oh, I love it. Yeah, lots and lots of trees because they're from a rainforest. Very fun. And then right over here, we have a new male who we're going to go ahead and we're going to name um, Snow. There we go, instead of Snowflake. Thank you, Peyton. I'm glad you you came up with that idea. Also, Riley is, oh my gosh, there's so many baby penguins who have been born over here. Okay, we have so many penguins. I do not regret having to start, like, letting some of them go anymore. All right, and this is going, oh, hey, NS, NS, welcome. I'm gonna name this little one North-South after you, NS. And I'm going to need to pull up so many, so many new names. Also, oh, hey, sea puppy. You want to name a seal boop? That sounds adorable. Here, I think there's a little girl right here. And we'll go ahead and we'll name her boop. Let's see. There we go. There are so many. All right. And then we have another unhappy baby over here who we are going to go ahead and name Serena. Because that is one of the names that you guys have suggested. And then we're going to have another one. And we'll have you, little guy. And you're actually going to be named Warrior. After Melody Warrior. I'm really glad you're enjoying all of our adventures, Melody Warrior. And very tickled that you named yourself after my horse uh, in Star Stable. And uh, I, the Golden Lily quest from Wolf Quest we actually can't do because those save files were lost when my computer started burning up. My old computer literally caught fire and some of it melted inside. It was a little dramatic. Just saying. And then over here we're going to have Peter. But we will have Wolf Quest adventures. We might already have them by now, actually. Uh, when we get closer to the pop up date. So that's what I'm waiting for. Speaking of wolves, we need to check in on our arctic wolves soon. And then, oh dear, here, let me check something. Oh, you guys, there are so many penguins. I need more names. I actually ran out of name suggestions on this particular one I was keeping track of. So, I need to grab... Here we go. All right, there we go. I had to get a whole new selection of random names to pick from. And it's Kiwi again! Kiwi, I literally just had you be released from the last Kiwi we had. So this is going to be Kiwi the second. And he's actually going to be staying because he is a gold quality baby. Who escaped and why and how? Zantaria, how did you escape? I have a lot of questions about how a seal just managed to do that. And Guadalupe, how did you escape? Also, Wolf the Doll Sheep, rest in peace. You guys, this is chaos. <laughs> Absolute chaos. I think we managed to grab all of the babies who were unhappy, though. Phew. Okay, I think we did. All the babies are feeling chill again. Another animal has escaped. Wait, when did we have another otter? Oh my gosh, we had the baby river otters and I didn't even notice. Heck. And this is so frustrating because they are legitimately just swimming through, like, thick glass. It's very, very frustrating because I can't keep them from escaping from over there. I might have to make a physical, like, land barrier because they are still glitching through the barricade. But we'll have to see. For now, let me go ahead and call a mechanic over here and make sure that all of the other otters are where they're supposed to be. Aha! This one has escaped. Wait for it. She's named after her mom and she's apparently a little escapee. We've got to figure out where she's gone. There she is. I got her. I got her. She's not sneaking out on us, guys. All right, we'll move her over here. There we go. Phew. Okay. Busy, busy, busy day. But I'm feeling good about what we've done with the penguins. And we have some new river honor babies to name, which is so exciting. So we're going to come on in and we're going to name this little baby river otter girl who's so teeny tiny. This is going to be Chiara. What an adorable name. I really love that. So we have Chiara here. And then right over here, I think we have Chiara's mother who escaped, who we need to give a new name. 
the alpha female of the area, who we're going to name Jalea. Jalea, what a fun name. And I can't believe that Audi is still alive. Like, he is really pushing it. Because he is currently, like, 17 years old. He's he's just really pushing that longevity pretty far. I'm really happy that he's still with us. He outlived his previous mate, which was quite sad. But I'm really happy that now they've got some new little babies together. And we have one more adorable little baby otter right over here. So we are going to go ahead and we're going to name her Maureen. Phew! Okay, there we go. Oh, she's so cute. Oh, look at the babies over playing with the sprinklers. Oh, that makes me happy. All right, so a lot of different amounts of chaos have hopefully been taken care of. We have a couple a couple animals who have passed away of old age. They're leaving behind, and they have an average of six children, you guys. The penguins are having an average of six babies without even being gold level or anything before they pass away. That's amazing. And then finally, we're going to come over and name this little boy Pip. Phew! Okay. All right. Now that we have taken care of all of those things, one day I am going to work on getting the seals not so stressed as well. That's on my list of things to do. Tith is just like, he's. she's going to pass away in her sleep, apparently. She's just very content where she is. Doesn't want to give up the nest. Phew! All right. Oh my gosh. And now... We're going to come over and we're going to see how many of the flamingos we can actually release because any of the flamingos who are gold level and who have become adults with a little star next to their name, we can actually release to the wild. Not a triple star, just one star. And by releasing these guys to the wild, we're actually going to be able to celebrate finally getting somewhere on the snap to it challenge so buckle trinket lock stella keys patterson captain they have all gone ahead and they have all aged up and they are ready to go out and get us one two three four five six seven possibly seven points towards this challenge let's do this All right, we didn't get seven points, but we got four points. So that means at least four of them happen to be gold level flamingos. And we've got the shorts, you guys. We are just one animal away from being able to go ahead and unlock silver level. A silver level reward that we will cross over in our zoo crafting series in the future. Oh, such a relief. I have no idea what those pants are supposed to be. I've, I've given up on, on hoping for better <laughs> at this point. Oh, that makes me feel really happy. What? There's a bunch of crime here. Oh, okay. We'll have to work on the crime issue. Is there any other animal I can release? We have one extra male that we don't need. So I think I'm going to go ahead and release him into the wild. There we go. And yay! Now we are silver level, you guys. Ah, oh, this is a hard challenge. I think, honestly, just waiting for the flamingos to churn out those babies so that we can go ahead. Oh, and Wolf the doll sheep finally passed away. Rest in peace, Wolf. But I think waiting for the flamingos to really get going and having golden babies is going to be like Queen Cherry Blossom is now expecting another child. That's going to be our ace in the hole for being able to finish this off. If I can. At least we got to silver level so far, which makes me happy. And then also Goldie and Doubloon have had many, many, many children. And I think that their eldest child, where's Daisy? There's Daisy. Let's see how old their oldest kids currently are. Daisy and Beans, there's Beans. Seven years old. We still have three more years before we are going to be able to go ahead and release these little dwarf came into the wild. Holy cow. Meanwhile, Aqua Pebble is getting ready to have another seal baby, and honestly, even if we don't manage to make any further progress in the challenge, because I, oh geez, I am just really happy with what we have managed to do, because we've done so much with expanding everything, like we thought up doing the pirate bay, We've really pushed over here and we've been able to do some great work with the dwarf caiman. We added in this really cool neighborhood full of flamingos. I think what I want to do next is I want to try working on getting money out of the guests who are coming over here because we're really struggling to keep like 
a lot of funds really piling up. And then I want to try putting in some exhibit animals, maybe just waiting a little while longer to make sure more flamingos can age up. Um, and I think I want to try, maybe, maybe, working on extending this and thinking about how we would want to manage our little lemur island, probably by making it a little bit bigger first. <laughs> but all right, guys, thank you so much for joining me on this big, unexpected adventure. We're just constantly, constantly surprised by the things that this challenge demands of us. I'm really happy with how much the whole Pirate Bay has expanded. So I think next time we'll work on making our guests a little happier over here and just sitting back and trusting that the flamingos will help us find our way. They're awesome. But all right, guys, if you could, do please leave a like for our fabulous flamingos. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.